electronic ink is a familiar technology to everyday makers. They are low power displays that have great visibility in sunlight and preserve the displayed image even when unpowered. Commonly, applications have been signage, e-readers, or simple project dashboards. The technology refreshes slowly so it's never been for fast updating user interfaces. Up until recently, the technology has been limited to monochrome with a single color, but no longer. Hey gang, Tim here at Crow Electronics, and here are the Inky Impression 7 Color Electronic Ink Hats. And today we're gonna set one up to run with a Raspberry Pi single ball computer. This is the Inky Impression 5.7 inch, seven color, 600 by 448 pixel e-ink hat. Hat just means hardware attached on top. It has four tactile buttons on the back, as well as female GPIO connections, making it fully compatible with a Raspberry Pi single board computer. Pimeroni also has a four inch, more pixel dense version available as well. Everything explained here is gonna be applicable for both these screens. Now to be clear, these screens can produce seven block colors, blue, green, red, white, yellow, orange, and black. Inside these screens are thousands of tiny oil filled bubbles, which are filled with colorful charged particles. Depending on the current flowing above or below these oil bubbles, certain particles are drawn up or down. When the particles are drawn to the top of the oil filled bubbles, we can then see their color displayed on the e-ink screen. On the table before me is everything you need to set up your Pimeroni e-ink display. Naturally, you're gonna need that color inky impression screen. You're also gonna need a Raspberry Pi set up to run as a desktop computer. If you need a help with that, we have a guide linked in the description. We are using a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, but this can be used with all Raspberry Pi single board computers, like the Raspberry Pi Zero. You're also gonna want a micro SD with the latest Raspberry Pi OS and a small screwdriver to mount everything easily. The organic step now is to get all this hardware connected up. Push the micro SD card into the micro SD card slot on the Raspberry Pi. During the installation process, I would recommend keeping on the screen protector that comes with the Pimeroni screen. The front panel is glass and can get scratched. Install the fasteners and add the extender riser header to the inky board. Then press the Raspberry Pi into the Pimeroni board carefully by pressing evenly on all corners of the board. From here, connect up your Raspberry Pi as a desktop computer and you'll be done with the hardware assembly. If you want to install the Raspberry Pi Zero instead, it won't require any standoffs or extra tall headers. This is particularly desirable if you're going for a height that is as sleek as possible. To make your life with this screen the best possible, let's download the software that is already built by Pimeroni to support it. Open up a terminal window by clicking on the black button on the top left of the screen. Once here, type and enter the following or copy and paste it from the written article. If prompted, press Y and enter on your keyboard to install all the packages, install all the example scripts and have SPI the connection method between these two boards enabled. For troubleshooting tips and an alternative installation method, come check out the written up guide linked down in the description. So here's how to display a simple image with a file name art.jpg. Open up the terminal window by clicking on the black button on the top left of the screen like before. With that open, make sure you have an image called art.jpg in the home slash pi slash pimeroni slash inky slash example slash seven color folder. Now we're gonna type and enter the two lines one by one. The first line is gonna focus the terminal to the location of the example Python scripts. and goes as such, cd slash home slash pi slash pimeroni slash inky slash examples slash seven color. The second line is then gonna summon the powers of the Python programming language to run that image script and select the image named art.jpg. Note that different file formats or names are gonna to work too. You just alter the second line appropriately. As soon as you type enter onto that terminal command, you're gonna notice your screen go through a number of total page refreshes. So that way it can get all those colored particles to where they need to be. This will take up to 15 seconds to complete. 
No partial refreshing software with these screens yet. When it comes to choosing images, from my preliminary experiences with this display, everything hand-drawn looks fantastic, particularly comic strip panels. Watercolored paintings and old school posters also look great, along with most styles of brushwork painting. I found older film photographs have increased dithering when compared to digitally captured photographs, but both still look very sharp. Before moving on, let's take a dive into this image.py script and alter the saturation of displayed images. I'm gonna right click it and open it with Thony IDE. Thony IDE is just a Python interpreter and you can use whichever one you'd like. Having done that, we're gonna look down just a little until you see the variable named saturation. The default value is 0.5, and you can adjust that value from zero to one. Play around with the saturation levels to get exactly what you want on your specific image. On screen now is different saturation levels for the same image, so you can get a feel for what adjusting this setting will do for you. Once you've adjusted the saturation, make sure to save that file. It is good practice with these e-ink screens to clear them before displaying a different image. This prevents ghosting. Pimeroni created a Python script for us called clear.py, which I'll show you how to run from the terminal now. The first line is exactly the same as before, and the second one is gonna alter only slightly to target the clear Python script. There are other great Pimeroni examples here too, like the one for displaying a web page. It can be run in a very similar way as before. This script will take a screenshot of the target website and then display it onto the electronic ink display. So here is the web page. Type and enter the following into a new terminal window. Almost exactly the same, except we're adding on the HTML at the end. Then we're gonna type the following. And there you have it, this Hello World website displayed on our e-ink. So if you can make a web page out of your project, then you can show it easily on a seven color e-ink electronic paper. So let's also take advantage of these buttons on the back side of the Pimeroni screen. There is an example Pimeroni script called buttons.py, which when run will print messages to the shell when certain buttons are pressed show you right now. Well, that's good and all, but let's actually get these buttons to do something more. Jumping back into the folder structure, you can see I added a script called randomizer.py. This is a remix of that original button script, along with more images that you can see along here that I've labeled one to 10. On opening the script with Thony IDE, you can now see that it's designed to randomly display a new image from a collection of images all labeled from one through to 10 whenever any button is pressed on the side. So let's run this script and press a button. It's running in the background and I'm gonna press any of these buttons. Just like that, our new image will come to life. And there you go. To get this functionality easy and all the time, you're gonna want this Python script to run on boot. I demonstrate exactly how to do this with crontab in the full write-up guide. And if you actually want this script, it's gonna be there too. Here is my current application for this sweet display. I've set up the Pimeroni e-ink display with a Raspberry Pi and tucked them both neatly inside this pretty picture frame. Whenever it's power cycled, it's gonna change what image is being displayed from a current list of around 10 options. I can add to it and control directly what image goes into it hands-free and remotely via my phone as I provided the local network details and enabled SSH plus VNC. Currently I have it set so at midnight it power cycles. So a new beautiful color electronic ink image to be surprised by 
for every day. Dive into the full write-up to see a step-by-step -step on exactly how I did this, so jump there if you want. And that's it for today. If you have a specific image you'd like me to try out with this screen, write me a message down below. I'll set it up and show you. We are full-time makers and we're here to help. So until next time, stay cozy.